Hello children. In today's lesson, we're going to be finding totals. And this is a really useful skill to have for when we go shopping. Because usually when we go shopping, we buy more than one thing. So we have to add up the cost of each item to find the total. So let's have an example here. So I'm off to the shops and I'm going to buy a cupcake and a, an apple. Cupcakes cost 47p and the apple is 29p. So let's see how much they cost in total, how much they cost altogether. So 47 add 29. I put the P in because for mine it's pennies. Hmm. Now there's a couple of ways I could do this. First way I could do it is on a number line. Remember my number line starts with the biggest number, which in the case is 47. So I'm going to write my 47. And then I'm going to jump on by 29 quite hard to jump on by 29 in one go so I'm going to jump in more than one jump. My first jump is going to take me from 47 up to the next number ending in zero which is 50. So to get from 47 to 50 I've got to add on three so I've used three of my 29. That means I've got 26 left. So let's add on the six. 50 add six is 56. And then let's add on the 20, 56 add 20, that's 66, 76. So 47p add 29p gets me to 76p. Now, the other way I could do it is to use column addition. So let's have a look at that. So 47 add 29. Mm. Right, this could be a little bit tricky. Seven add nine. That's going to give me 16. Now I can't have 16 in the ones column. So I could do this by exchanging. So that means I put my six ones here and I swap the 10 ones for another 10. Let's add up my tens. Four tens and two tens add one ten is seven tens. That's one way of doing it. The other way of doing it is using the expanded column method that we've looked at in class, and you might find this a little bit easier. So let's do 47 add 29. Okay, now we know that seven add nine is 16. Let's write the 16 there. And we know that 40 add 20 is 60. That becomes a lot easier to add. 16 add 60. 6 add 0 is 6. 1 10 add 6 tens is 7 tens. And the answer is 76. Let's have another go at one more of these. Let's try. Imagine I'm going to be buying an apple and a balloon. I'm going to do the expanded method just to remind you. So 29 add 36. If you want to, you can write the tens and ones at the top to help you. Right, nine add six, that's 15. So I write 15. Yeah, that's my ones. Two tens add three tens, that's five tens, that's 50. That's my tens. Now I can add 15, add 55. 5 add 0 is 5, 1 10 add 5 tens is 65, so 29p add 36p equals 65p. I hope that helps children. If you've got any problems then please don't worry about them because we will look at this again next week and we'll also be looking at it when we come back to school. Let me know how you get on, I can't wait to see your work, have a great day. Bye, you too.